Hi, National Junior Honor Society students and families who are looking to learn more about it. My name is Ashley Bauer, and I'm one of the advisors. This year, I'm going to be working with the incredible Gosha Stoner. Um, Mrs. Ogilby has stepped out of National Junior Honor Society um, planning, um, but I'm sure that she'll still be um, excited to talk to all the students and see what they're up to. So first I want to go over just what the society is. It's a recognized organization nationally and our chapters are all focused on recognizing students for their outstanding accomplishments, but more important than that, the chapters are really trying to develop more leadership and challenge students to um, take their leadership to the next level. And so not only are we looking for them to be involved at school, but we are looking for them to be involved in the community and with everything going on. There's even opportunities that we're going to be, you know, getting involved um, and helping in ways that might involve technology. And so we're just really looking to have an impact on a larger scale. Um, and then there's some data I included there that National Junior Honor Society students are um, just known for their service and giving back with, with typically 650 hours per chapter, um, donating, you know, a thousand dollars in charitable donations. And we've done things like that with fundraising for American Cancer Society last year, even, and in the past with helping with wells being built over in Africa. The purpose of National Junior Honor Society is really to create enthusiasm for, um, academics and being focused on growing and improving even when you um, encounter difficulties and struggles, um, making sure students have um, encouragement for just giving back and serving others and, and being a volunteer and promoting leadership, problem solving skills, communication, um, kindness, all those things are, are part of National Junior Honor Society. We want to mentor students and help them address different needs and problems that they identify. And so how our organization, our chapter works is we have um, set qualifications based off the five pillars for National Junior Honor Society. So um, scholarship is one of them. This past year, we looked at students with a 3.9 or 4.0 cumulative GPA and no referrals, and those students received an invitation to apply. And then they complete the essay um, and application if they're interested. They have their two service hours, a letter of recommendation. They get input from all of their core teachers, and then all of that is given to our faculty council to review, and then the candidates are selected, and we typically have a formal ceremony in March. Obviously, that didn't happen, but we are um, going to be planning some sort of induction ceremony, um, whether that's virtual or in person, because we do want to recognize those students who were just um, selected for participation this this past spring so we're very excited to have new members um, and so that more information will come on that soon um, a little bit about the faculty council this is five voting members so it's teachers here at the school um, and that can change year to year we don't announce who those teachers are um, it is a volunteer position and the advisors, so myself and Ms. Stoner, we are not voting members. We um, do not go through the applications and give our vote as to whether or not that student should be a member. So we are not part of that process except for giving the applications out to the council. Um, but we do help with um, all the candidates just mentoring them, collecting their paperwork as they turn in their service hours and um, their projects that they're working on, and then obviously helping the officers as they run the meetings and the projects. Um, and then if a student for any reason is um, at risk of being dismissed because they're not meeting the requirements, um, then they're, the faculty council is who comes together to, to hear their case. How do students stay members of National Junior Honor Society? They still have to maintain their grades. That's typically a 3.5 or higher each quarter. They have to make sure they have good citizenship in their classes. Um, they, again, they shouldn't be getting referrals or getting threes on progress reports or report cards. Um, they should be meeting the requirements also set forth in the club. So um, service is part of that. They typically have 10 service hours each semester, so they should be tracking that. We go over how to do that. Um, we'll provide forms for them this year. We're going to be updating everything, so it's real easy to um, – know what to do, what to turn in, and then they also should be attending meetings regularly. Um, we have group projects, so we want them there. We want them involved and in them getting to know the other students and other members, and then we do fundraising initiatives so that we can give back to the community and help with different things. 
um, and also just pour into the students and provide opportunities for them. And then each student will do an individual service project. They can partner with another student as well um, on that project. And then we have yearly dues just to pay for the cost of things and other um, items that we might need for the group. But typically um, part of that is for their pins and their certificates and putting the induction ceremony together and all of those things. So we've already selected students for this school year since they should have been inducted um, last spring. So congratulations to those students. Again, up till this point since our school's open, we've invited students um, to apply based on the criteria because we have so many outstanding students at RMA that if we invited everybody, I don't even know that we'd have room. But um, we did go to the conference for National Junior Honor Society in at the end of February and we were just so inspired and we would really love to grow the chapter. So we we're hoping to invite more students who didn't just get the initial invite, uh, but with COVID, obviously um, our numbers have to be limited for meetings and things. So we're not sure if that'll be an option for this year, but if not this year, then definitely in years to come. This is a list which we posted this online of the students who uh, were selected. So again, we just congratulate them. I'm excited to get to know them better um, and just to really love on them and to hear what their hearts are for and what they'd like to do to make a difference in the world and in our community. So as for their ceremony, <laughs> we don't have a date or anything. We're kind of waiting to see what we're allowed to do, if we're able to host it here at school like we have, or if this is going to have to be virtual. Um, so we do just want to follow CDC um, regulations and guidelines. So we'll share more when we have it. Believe me, I'm super eager, um, just like you. Um, but at this time, we don't have that information yet. Same thing goes for the meetings. Um, we're trying to see if it's possible for us to meet um, here on campus. Um, but if it has to be virtual, we'll, we'll make that work until we can get back to being together. Um, so we'll, we'll share that when we have the information for you. Meeting attendance is really important. This isn't just like a typical enrichment. This is a national group. So um, in order to have their certificate and to have that good standing, if they want to apply for high school, they do need to be attending. So we do monitor that attendance. Um, there is a Google Classroom page. We're going to improve that even more this year so communication's clear. Um, and so that'll have forms that they'll need for tracking. And then we have a Facebook page. If your child is not a member um, or if they have been inducted but we haven't had the ceremony yet, like you're good to go ahead and look at the page. But if you are, your child is not a member, hasn't applied anything like that yet, the Facebook page is just for um, members so that we can share that information with them in terms of what they need to track and things like that. Um, but if you have other questions just about how your child can volunteer in general, please reach out. I'm happy to answer that. We do have officers and we run our meetings with Robert's Rules. Um, I want to say congratulations to Caitlin Craft and Sierra Skinner. Um, they are phenomenal students who I've just got to know um, really well and I'm just am blown away with um, their passion for um, just taking time out of their own day to come up with innovative ways that they can inspire other students, that they could raise up other leaders. And so we're going to have them as co-presidents this year um, because they've served in the past and they've gone to the conference to just, they have a lot of ideas really ready to go. Um, and we want them to be able to train our other officers um, so that we can grow each year. So we do have several positions open this year um, and students will be able to run for those positions. Again, not sure what that's going to look like, if it's going to have to be a flip grid thing or something where students upload videos and then we take a vote, but we will figure it out whatever we have to do because um, we just have a heart for this. So um, if your child is interested, more information will be shared on those roles and how they can run and, and we'll get them that information. Um, this is the Google Classroom code if your child is a member so they can see the information. Um, we have a Facebook page that I mentioned. Um, Rollett Middle Academy also has, if you go through, there's a, a specific page on the school website with announcements and information. That's being updated as we have um, new forms and stuff for this school year. And then the website is coming soon. I want to make sure that I have the bylaws and everything there. So if you have any questions or want to know um, just a little bit more in depth about how things work and how we run things, that'll be on the website.
So this is just kind of a brief overview just to let you know I'm super excited, super proud of students. Definitely want to invite in more students. So keep in contact with me if you have any questions and um, I hope to see everybody soon. Thank you.